Hello and welcome to the first video of the series on building your own website online using veryaffordablewebsites.com. Again, that's veryaffordablewebsites with an s dot com. This is what's known as an online website builder and if you want to find other similar builders you can go out to Google and type online website builder and you will find lots of them out there. However, all website builders are not created equal and I'm going to bring out some points to you that is worth considering when you're thinking about utilizing a website builder. So let's get started. You simply click on start your site now and when you do that you will see 30 templates shown and there's a total of 1500 inside and as you get through this series I think you will find that this is a fantastic way to build your own website and it's also very affordable so what you want to do is simply click on that and in your case you may have something in page two and page three by default the system will put information in there but my recommendation is to delete anything that's in page two three four and five just simply highlight it and delete it and then go to next step and start building your website because what will happen at that point is it will only have you starting with a base of a home page because I'm going to teach you in other tutorials how to add additional pages. Now you're going to come to a screen like this and I want to point out some things that I think are very important. First of all you get a 10 day free trial so when you enter your information in here you will not have to enter in any form of payment information. Most website builders if they're any good are going to allow you to use them for free before you ever pay any money. That way you can try it before you buy it. Now another thing that's important in section one here where you enter your web address, your website ID, is that not is not going to be your permanent web address. That is going to be a free web address for you to utilize mainly probably for your own internal use because later you can come back and put a real domain name and have the real domain name take its place so it really doesn't matter what you title this domain at this point chances are very good that you're not going to use a web address with a dot very affordable websites dot com but you do have to name it something to get started another thing that's important about website builders is a lot of them will have a 30 day money back guarantee. That way after the trial if you activate it and decide that you don't like it as much as you thought you did and want your money back within your first 30 days you have that as an option. And one final piece that is very very important that you consider when using an online website builder and I'm just kinda highlighting this because this is fine print but this particular builder does not have a setup fee which is very important. A lot of website builders will charge you a setup fee and that's kind of their sneaky way of getting by with getting you in the door. So be real careful that whatever website builder you're using does not have a setup fee. Now what's going to happen is I've created this next piece where I've already filled in the information so that I don't have to take up your time on this video uh, filling it out for you. So what's going to happen is you fill out all the information. As you see there's no payment information here. You simply fill out basic information. Uh, you want, might want to read the terms and services so that you can check that but it's standard privacy policy type stuff and then you're going to click on build your site and once you click on build your site it's going to take you to the next page which you see here so you after you fill out your information you click on build your site and this is your back office which is very very user friendly if you want to edit a page you edit it there viewing a page is what we're doing now that's why this is highlighted differently if we want to add a page we will simply click on add a page manage pages design tools help and support I will get into all these functions on later uh, videos so be sure that you check the series out to find out different functionality of these different resources here that's it as far as getting started the next one will be talking about paying for your site and what the actual cost is.